Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this week is all about basics and I'm gonna have a tutorial every day till Thursday. So do keep a look out for it. So to do my highlight, I'm picking up Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer which you can buy it at the nearest Guardian or Watson's. This concealer is medium coverage and it is really blendable which is why I use it mostly on all of my tutorials. And as you can see, I am bringing the concealer up till the nose area and it's just going to give an illusion of a slimmer nose. This technique, I have been actually using it for close to 2 months and so far, I've been really liking the technique. It's really giving me that nice, slim nose that everyone craves after. And remember not to only highlight underneath your eye area, okay? Please don't do it. It looks terrible when you take a picture or something only that particular area will pop out so you don't want to do that you want the light to hit really evenly on your face and in order to get that you have to highlight your forehead the bridge of your nose the cupid's bow and the chin area i also put on the concealer at the corner of my mouth that's where usually most of us women of color we usually have like pigmentation around there so if you want to hide it just use an orange concealer around there and then go in with a regular concealer or you can just do what I'm doing here and I'm using a real techniques sponge this is my favorite sponge it's very affordable and it's perfect for highlighting and contouring Let's move on to baking and I'm using Sacha Buttercup Setting Powder. This is the best powder if you are in the medium to deeper skin tone range. It has yellow tint to it so it's just going to set your highlighted areas not being too ashy or whatsoever. I use Sacha Buttercup Setting Powders only around the highlighted areas of my face. For the rest of my face, I usually go in with MAC Studio Fix Press Powder. Let this bake for 5 minutes and then we can brush it away. I'm using E48 by Morphe Brushes and I love this brush to brush away any kind of excess powder. It does a good job in that. To bronze up my face, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Press Powder in NC55. So there's a difference between bronzing and contouring and I'm always on the bronzing side. I use bronzers to contour a little bit for my face. That's how I do my contour. There's no right or wrong on how you want to do your makeup and it's just all about making it work for you. So for contour, you usually use cool tone cream or powder to contour. And that is going to give you sculpted kind of face look but for me I don't really go for it I just stick with the bronzing remember the technique that we used previously to bake now as you can see there is actually a natural shade around my nose area so I'm just going to enhance it by using the same studio fix powder and going in with a Morphe brush to further contour my nose. This is why I love the Real Technique sponge. It's because of the flat side. You can use that flat side and you can clean up your contour like what I'm doing right here. A little bit of history. Baking technique was actually originated by the drag queen community and then made famous by Kim Kardashian. So thanks to them, we can now look really snatched.
let it sit for about a minute and then you brush it off you want to brush it downwards and then swipe it left to right you don't want the powder to mix with your bronzing so just keep in mind remember to have good transition in between your highlighting and your bronzing so that's about it thank you so much for watching and you will see me tomorrow for more basics so just stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe